Hello everyone, welcome to the Military Center channel. U.S. Naval Air Systems Command announced last week that the Navy's Unmanned Aviation Program Office, PMA-268, is conducting its first lab integration event June 28 to 30 at Pax River. To demonstrate how the MQ-25 Ground Control Station, GCS, will command the drone in the carrier environment. The government team and two of its key industry partners led efforts at the System Test and Integration Lab, STIL, where Lockheed Martin's GCS controlled Boeing's hardware in the loop, HITL, aerial vehicle for the first time. HITL uses aircraft hardware and software to provide realistic replacements for aerial vehicles. This achievement is the result of weeks of preparation and dedication by a highly skilled team, said TJ Mayday, MQ-25 Lab and Integration Manager. Uniting multiple systems is never easy, but a combined government or industry team, coming together, understanding problems and finding solutions made this event a success. We learn how the system works as a whole and that early learning and discovery is key to keeping the program moving forward. Boeing and Lockheed Martin need to deliver functional software for governments to run GCS, HITL, and network components that enable connectivity between systems. The team reached the initial destination ahead of schedule and used the remaining time to carry out more functions such as sending taxi orders, said Mayday. They also simulate missing links verifying proper GCS display indicators, which is an important function for ensuring network connectivity between development environments. The MQ-25 will be the world's first operational carrier-based drone to provide aerial refueling capability for the fleet.